Today we're here to talk about three 400EX mods that every 400EX should have. And quite frankly, every 400EX should have came with these mods from the factory. They're almost bolt-on mods, and they're just so easy. And you probably haven't heard of most of them. The one, if you haven't heard of, I'd be pretty surprised. But the other two, seems like no one knows about, and they're so easy to do, and they're so much of a game. So this is my 2004 Honda 400EX uh, last year for the Bug Eye. And it's got a couple noticeable mods on it like the Wrath front bumper, um, the Pro Taper bars with the risers, and uh, the Competition Series HMF exhaust. But those aren't mods we're here to talk about. That's something that everybody should know. This is stuff that every quad should have or should have had but it seems that not that many of them have them anymore now the first one we're going to talk about here the more quads have them than, uh, than the other mods for sure you probably already know about this one but that is the TRX 450 front shocks uh, these shocks are almost a bolt-on installation the only thing that needs to be done is up in top on the shock you can see it's ground a little bit to miss the nut in there um, so a little bit of grinding on the top of the eye there, and they fit right in. These ones are actually revalves, but uh, in, in stock form they can be a little bit stiff, but they're definitely way better than the factory 400EX shocks. And uh, if you get them revalved, they are just night and day difference. I've never really had any trouble with the stock rear shock. They seem to hold up for most riding now. If you were jumping this thing and skying it or racing it you know that would be different but chances are you're not going to be doing that with a 400 you actually have a 450 so that's the first mod everyone should have so i'm going to start by introducing the second mod as how many times have you wore out your front brake pads replaced them stuck another set on and it seemed like they wore out immediately well that's because the front brakes from on a stock quad suck but what if i could tell you that you could do stoppies, have better front braking, and have pads that last twice as long. Well, the second mod is YFZ450 front calipers. They're dual piston. The pad is twice the size as the stock Honda pad, and they bolt right on. Now, I know what you're thinking. If you're a Honda purist, you're probably thinking, I don't want no Yamaha calipers on my quad. But get this, they're made by the same company as the company that makes Honda's calipers, Nizen. So at the same, at the end of the day, it's the same brand. The only thing that you have to do differently is when you need pads, just get them for a YFC 450. Now make sure if you do this mod, the calipers have to be from uh, 04 to 12, I believe, uh, because whenever they switched over to, you could buy either the R or the carbureted model in uh, 12 or 13 they started putting single piston front calipers on the on the junkier base model them are almost identical to what came factor on the 400 you actually don't want those you want the dual piston ones but complete bolt on mod uh, no modifications there and you will be able to do stoppies the brake control is a hundred times better it's just all around better the pads wear way better so I can't recommend that mod enough. Now I'm going to start talking about the last and final modification in this video by saying, have you ever tacoed your rear brake rotor, smashed it off a rock, ruined it, and then by the time you get home your pads are junk, your calipers junk, everything's junk just because of a rock hit it. Or you know maybe you have a skid plate underneath but still the pads were out so quickly the back brakes are either on or off. I mean you can either lock them up or they're barely working there's no control well the last modification we're going to talk about here is the TRX 450R rear brake swap now the rotor is much smaller gives you much more ground clearance you can see next to the sprocket there the rotor sticks up higher so you'll tend to hit the sprocket before the rotor unless for some reason there's a rock on the right side but you know you can't control that but I've bent so many stock 400EX rotors it's, it's not even funny, but since I've done this, I've never bent one. Uh, could just be luck, but I think it's due to how much smaller it is. Now, 
what you will need for this is a 450 caliper, the 450 rotor, 450 rotor hub, and also the caliper bracket in behind. Uh, your factory line will work. Banjo bolts will work. Um, the only thing that I had to do is up here, I had to trim back some of this outer coating here off the line so I could slide it up further through that grommet because if not you'll have a bunch of line hanging out back here um, because the factory 400 caliper I believe bolts towards the, the back for the banjo bolt so you can just slide it up put your slack all up inside there and uh, yeah I mean from that point on there's no only on or off brakes I mean you have control you can lock them up you can slow yourself down and with that paired with the front brakes it's a night and day difference and then the pads are twice as long it's a dual piston caliper they they last 10 times longer well not 10 times longer but at least half as long um, and they're about the same price for pads and you can usually find this whole setup uh, someone will be selling all the parts you know for about $200 so that's a pretty relatively cheap and easy mod and these are things I feel that Honda could have put on the 400s but for whatever reason they didn't so it's up to the owner if you if this is something you're looking for it's great and you might be thinking oh these are just brake mods and shock mods why do I want to do that I need power well at the end of the day the faster you can slow down the longer you can stay in it so think of it that way plus who doesn't want to do stoppies who doesn't want to just mess around go flying into a turn hit the brakes just enough to slow down and keep going again so I hope these help someone I hope that if you haven't heard of these, now you'll look into them. Uh, it took, took me a while to figure these out because, like I said, not too many people do the two brake mods, but uh, I'm very pleased, and if I ever in another one, they will also have the same modifications done to them. Uh, if this video helps you at all, consider subscribing to my channel, and if you have any more questions about any of this that we talked about today, just leave a comment. Also, if this video helps you, give it a like. Thanks.